and if you get a two or three point lead in the second, then you need to really be aggressive and push push for the victory. So that's when the opponent starts to panic. You just need to be right there on the pedal, pushing as much. Um, so it depends on whatever I feel at that moment is what she wants to listen. But um, uh, so one, one of this match would be, I remember, uh, some of the two things which I always say is ignore the mistake and I keep So simple things like these and probably a bit of strategy like avoid the stroke or hit the stroke whichever it is not great. things like this. In the final and before the match, I mean I'll try and think of my own experiences. For me there are difficult opponents, there are opponents with which I have a very positive score and in between. But before the match you were 4-5 if I'm not mistaken with Carolina. No, before the final, you were 4 5 in your encounters. It's not, it's, it's not a big gap, right? So, a fairly. Like she was 3 and I was. Uh, no, she was 4 and I was 2. Five. 4, okay. Uh, but the match itself was very, very competitive. Uh, you won the first set. Then, in the second one, it kind of went away fast. But then the third one again was very close till the very end. Um, how did you experience the final? Was, was it just the stakes or how did you experience it? Oh, uh, I think it was a good match. I feel like uh, she was a very aggressive player and it was not very easy to get points from her. So like we played recently again I played recently against her in Denmark. That that time I won against her in three games and after that I lost to her in Hong Kong again. So um, after winning the fourth game, I knew that she's not going to be because it's on a day five and we really would think to win. So when it came to the third game, it was going on equal, but then over there I just gave two or three mistakes in a row. If I would have managed that and controlled my strokes, maybe it, the game would have changed. But then overall, uh, it was a good match for me. And uh, it was anybody's game, and I feel it was her way that day. So even she did really well. I mean, I was very impressed uh, that you were composed enough to go and uh, go to the other side, and that was very moving. Uh, personally, after the toughest matches, I can barely keep my nerves. Um, how did you experience the final? Must have been equally. Uh, I mean, I have a feeling sometimes that uh, my team members suffer more than me, because at least I'm I'm in control of my mistakes, uh, but they are kind of helpless. How did you experience it? How did your parents experience it? Uh, I mean, from the point of Gopi uh, of course he sacrificed a lot and he also worked hard. And um, I think he keeps on telling me, you know, when I, on court, when I uh, play or after the rally is over, when I get frustrated or, you know, when I take that point or think that, okay, I couldn't call that point. He's like, okay, let it go, let it go, never mind. Because, you know, when you think about it, then again, you tend to lose mistakes more. You keep thinking that I could have got that point. But then he from you know sitting back and he supports me and motivates me telling that, you know, it's okay, let it go. And that's how I think it really helped me. And uh, it just went on. And uh, my parents I think they really sacrificed a lot. I'm really very thankful to them because I'm here today because of them. And uh, yeah, since uh, all the time they keep traveling with me wherever I go and uh, my mom took a young with me, you know, we shifted our house and then for me the nutrition diet was very important so she had to be at home for me, and, you know, keep food and everything. So I think they, it, I'm very thankful to them. Uh, after such a big result, uh, how long does it take you to get back to the training routine and uh, uh, I guess even uh, the real performance? 
there must be a lot of technical details. Huh? So when will you have a chance to uh, sit down and block some kind of work on this? Well, I think um, the Olympics is special. I think the rest of the games, you have the World Championships or an All-England which come every year, but I think the Olympics is definitely something special. And something like this, she can afford to take a bit of a break, knowing pretty well that uh, the bigger the break, the longer it will take to come back. So, we have trained. She's had a hard session in the morning today. She's had a hard session yesterday. She'll get some, maybe get some rest tomorrow. But um, but I think the reality is that um, I think she's done well. Uh, but um, yeah, she needs to continue doing well. She needs to keep working hard. And uh, something like um, Rio was good, uh, but uh, she can improve well. Well, what, what can I say? Congratulations to you both. This amazing performance. And for me, personally, I found it illuminating that you kept repeating this point, let go of that mistake. Because in chess, the most important thing I've learned is the ability to uh, deal with position as it stands now. Uh, if you still have this idea that I could have uh, done something better three moves ago and so on, then you find yourself un you should always deal with this position as if it was your start. Chess advice. I found it fascinating that that's exactly what uh, you focused on. Again, you, you made us all proud, so uh, congratulations both of you. And, uh, thank you. Thank you, Gobi. Thank you, Sindhu. Thank you. Uh, another big round of applause again to Mr. Rathanayan. He's normally on the other side who faces the fire and uh, Sindhu and, and Gopi as well. So let's get down to, uh, to the fellas.